Guys, believe me, the stories I'm about to tell you are priceless. They might surprise you, teach you something new, give you a lesson or just remind you what not to do or what to do in the world of betting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn in everything important for the sports betting and how to win in the long term. Check our website bettingum.com. They say the gambling is the greatest drug. According to studies, the gambling is the most addictive in the world, more than alcohol, tobacco and so on. The adrenaline rush of betting and the dopamine release of winning are feelings that every better has probably experienced. Most of the famous people in the world like entertainment and what more entertaining than the gambling. So here are a few stories about them. The first one is for Ben Affleck, one of Hollywood's most popular figures. The interesting thing about him is that not only he is a successful actor and producer, but he has also done very well in the betting business, making a serious profit and more because of his skill than luck. You ask how? Well, very simple. The easiest way to know that you're doing well at betting is when the bookmaker or the casino tells you enough is enough, namely when they limit your bets or ask you to stop, something that most of our customers have experienced. When Ben Affleck first became interested in gambling, he initially had a desire not to be a gambler but to beat the casino with skill. The best game for this of course is the blackjack. That's why Ben Affleck doesn't waste time but spends a lot of hours to learn how to count cards in blackjack, a strategy well known and applied by many people, who are also limited by the stakes at one point. So what are Ben Affleck's heights in the blackjack? Two visits in Las Vegas, his first trip was with his friend and colleague Matt Damon, Affleck won 140,000k but the real success came a year later when he managed to make as much as 800,000k in literally a few days. He shared then that he didn't like the games of chance, he only plays blackjack and nothing else because he knows the game and he knows you have much better odds there because of your skill. Ben Affleck says he sincerely regrets that the casino then restricted him from only playing blackjack but allowed him to play other gambling games. Sound familiar, right? Many of you know that in almost all of the cases where a European bookmaker limits us, they don't limit us on the English Premier League or the Champions League, for example, but only where we win. So, as you can see, this is the practice everywhere. After that, he was forced to turn to another game of skill, which was the poker. Much more complex and influenced by multiple factors, though. Anyway, Affleck won a tournament in California with a payout of over 350,000k in 2004, which qualifies him for a World Series of Poker, but, but his success there was not great. There are periods where Affleck participates in cash tables organized by the famous Molly Blue, which was the subject of a very famous movie from 5 years ago. Ben Affleck has played at these events with people like Leo DiCaprio, Tony Maguire, Matt Damon and other millionaires and even billionaires. According to Molly Bloom, Ben Affleck had a serious poker skills, at least relative to the rivals he had and often they took their money. Anyway, Affleck then suffered a huge gambling problem and addiction as he admits himself over time and overall his story with gambling didn't finish very well though. The next one on the list is the Man United and England legend Wayne Rooney. Just 18 years old, Rooney signed a contract with United in 2004. It is said that his salary then was around 55k pounds per week. A few years ago, in a campaign that was organized by the, one of the biggest online casinos in England and which casino will be discussed in a moment, Rooney revealed that he as a young teenager who suddenly found himself quite rich because of his football skills, he was naturally seriously influenced by what was happening to him, namely fame and money. Long story short, Rooney was losing huge amounts of money in the start of his career and we talk about almost a million per year. He was so close to get addicted but he manages to escape. What got me talking about this topic though are the events that happened about 3 or 4 years ago related to the 32 Red, the online casino I mentioned. In 2019 Rooney signed a contract with Derby County whose official sponsor is 32 Red. This is normal, we've seen it with Bet365 and Stoke, Betway and West Ham and so on. Then Rooney starts wearing the jersey with not just any number, but the number 32 on the back. I just want to mention that about 2 years ago, 32 Red were fined 2 million for missing 22 opportunities to help someone who was addicted to gambling. There is a law in England that obliges gambling companies to help addicts, but 32 Red does not do so, breaking several other laws related to this. Getting back to the Rooney and when he signed with the Rams, it got to the point where the Football Association uh, investigated whether this casino was paying part of the players' wagers, but it turns out that only the club does. 
However, Rooney has come under huge criticism from various people and organizations and rightly so. Don't you think that's a bit hypocritical? After all, Rooney is a national football legend and at this time he could sign with literally any team in the championship. However, he decides to sign with a club whose official sponsor is a huge online casino and starts wearing the number 32 on his back which is the casino's number when he has worn numbers like 8, 9 and 10 throughout his career. This is basically an advertisement for a casino that takes an advantage of and even exploits people addicted to gambling. All this against the backdrop of his history as a young man where he was not very far away to get addicted to gambling. That's why it's very important what example celebrities set for all who follow and care about them but sometimes it's an example of what not to do. Now we return to American Hollywood. The last one we will talk about will be Charlie Sheen. When it comes to sex, drugs and alcohol and gambling, somehow it's not normal not to mention Charlie. Sheen is full of scandalous stories. Back in 2006 he divorced his wife then, Denise Richards, who filed for divorce with the main reason being that her husband was a total gambling addict and the proof was that he was betting roughly about 200,000k a week. Well, isn't she right? Certainly a pretty bad reason for a divorce. Furthermore, in the combination with alcohol and drugs, Shin had a serious behavior amplitude, especially when he was losing, which was of course frequently. In 2011, the situation in the Shin's life escalated because it got to the point where one of the well-known bookmakers placed a bet Charlie Shin to be arrested in the next three months at 1.83 odds and 25 odds about Sheeran to be put in hospital for people with mental health problems. This, however, don't bother much the actor. One of his most famous incidents was when he bet Manny Paquito to win his boxing match easily against La Jolla 1 million dollars. It was his biggest bet but also one of the easiest gambling winnings. More interesting is that his reaction afterwards which was literally as if nothing had happened. I mean he wins 1 million but he doesn't care. Years later in an interview he said that a week before the game he had a dream about a Paquito winning easily and then at the end Paquito really won very easily. But Charlie Sheen already knew that would happen. This was the moment when little by little Sheen lost his interest in gambling mainly because of the lack of any thrill at least according to his words but his actions weren't exactly like that because in 2016 a huge scheme related to illegal online betting was uncovered by a mafia controlled syndicate. During the arrests and the interrogations it was also revealed that some of celebrities had ties to this syndicate with of course Uncle Charlie being one of the main suspects. In the end this was not 100% proven and remains just as a rumor. Accordingly Sheen suffers no consequences but even if this is not true surely the star of Two and a Half Men has hundreds of stories related to gambling in his lifetime which most likely will not even reach the general public.